God, these windows in the corner here especially remind me of cathedrals. Which I guess it should, this being like the Tower of the Gods and all. It's supposed to be like a place of worship or something. At least that's what I envisioned it to be. One thing I always kind of wondered as a kid, because I was always really curious about this anyways, uh, especially after something you learn a little later in the game, is like, is there anything, is this like just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak? Or is this like the whole tower? Because like, there's this whole water thing here, like the water from the ocean has flooded this place. So, like there might still be more of the dungeon below me, and I just wouldn't know it, because I just like coming up here. But somehow, because, like, there's the door in the tower, like, where it is. Unless there's, like, multiple doors. I don't know. I guess that's one of those things that they never really expected you to learn. Like, that's supposed to be left as a mystery just to make you keep wondering. It's a huge reason, like, why they don't let you dive in this game or really swim at all anyways. Because they just want you, like, to keep that mysterious effect of what could possibly be beneath the ocean. And then you find out like little bits at a time, like these big octos and georgs and stuff. And that's how it goes. I think you have to. All you have to do in this room is kill all the monsters, though. So, and that's what stumped me as a kid, because I kept looking for switches and stuff. And I think there was like something. I know I had this really weird mindset for playing games as a kid. It was so stupid. Boy. Bop. Okay. Oh, there we go. And when the yellow chew jellies drop those orbs, it's super helpful because uh, those orbs, like, they spawn both blue and, not blue, both red and green uh, chew jellies, which I think I'm going to get before I actually get the statue. Actually, is it worth it? No, it's not really worth it. Oh, well. Mm, yeah, I mean, look at that rainbow staircase. That's just beautiful. I know I didn't really show it off or speak much of it while I was there, but... So pretty. Alright, there you go. And that'll open up the way to our next section, which is really like the prime hub of the temple, I guess. I was so amazed when I showed that shot right there as a kid. I was just like flabbergasted. I was like, dude, there's a door behind there? No way. Because I, I had no perception of anything as a kid. I thought like this whole floor was the dungeon. Like when I thought I put up that statue, I'm like, well, that's all I can do, right? So is the dungeon over? Do I fight the boss now? Is that boss, that big thing, spurting out water? Which would be cool, but such is not the case. All right, I'm going to leave you over there, Mr. Boat. and Because uh, you can't go on with me anyways. Sorry, this is where we part ways. For now, anyways. God, how many times did I say the w word ways there? Whether it was part of the word anyways or whatever. Alright, so this guy, he is nasty. This is the B this is the version of the Beemos in this game. It's probably my favorite incarnation of the Beemos ever, actually. There's also rats here, so watch out for those dickheads. Alright, but basically all you gotta do is just keep running here. Oh, nope. Sometimes that doesn't even work, though. So be careful. Be ca Dude, let me pick up my statue again. You son of a bitch. Oh my god. Can you hit me? You can't hit me. Uh, dude, what are you doing? Oh, no, now you can hit me? What is going on? No! Stay away from me! Oh, <laughs> uh, you can kill this guy. Like, it's uh, it's kind of hard right now. You get an item a little later that helps you to kill them. But you can kill them like that off if you hit them. Actually, I think you have to hit them with, like, the ex as it's exploding. So it's kind of really hard to time. Let's see if I can do this, though. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I did! Sweet! Yes! Oh, I think that's like the first time, or at least the first time in a long time that I've killed one that way. Mm. Yeah, it's total dick, because they make you do this twice. They make you carry two statues across the room. You know what? <laughs> and then, and then you just gotta press this one down on your own. Don't run circles around it like I did, though. Alright, making good progress here. Yay. Oh my goodness. I was looking at the map down there. I was like freaking out for a second. Okay, and I think up here we're coming up on something kind of interesting. Yeah, this platform here always mesmerized me as a kid because like there's literally no purpose for this being here other than something you can't even do or most people can't even do because you need to use the tingle tuner for it and I'm sure you can already see where this is going. It's going to be a recurring pattern here. 
Oh, I gotta get this set up right, though. Shoot. This is always a pain in the ass to do. Would you like to call Tingle? No, I just wanted to pull this out for fun. Alright, there he is. And uh, let's see what he's saying. This is Tingle in the Tower of the Gods, yeah. And there's an exclamation point on your Game Boy Advance right here, so what you gotta do is uh, get Link ready to jump out of the way. Because you're gonna lay a Tingle Bomb and run! Oh my god! And just wait for it, wait for it, watch it go boom! And there it is. Bo -bo 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 yeah. And uh, we don't actually need Tingle anymore, so uh, goodbye. <laughs> that was kind of your only purpose here, sorry to say. Alright, this might be the first time I've ever actually gotten this. Well, actually, no, I think it's probably the second time in my life I've ever gotten this. The Tingle statue, the goddess Tingle statue. Uh, it's salty seawater coating is kind of gross. <laughs> it will be waiting for you. It's kind of gross. That's just such colloquial language for this game. It's like, you'd expect it to say something like the salty tinge of this, of this decrepit statue is stupid or something. <laughs> Not stupid, but... Alright, so this room, this room is super duper special because, uh, I really like how they did this too. By the way, I can't really tell. Are these, like, statues, like... Are those supposed to be horns on their head, or are they like arms and they're flexing? That always kind of mesmerizes me. I th I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be horns, though. But it really it looks funny if you envision them to be arms. <laughs> and you can like never unsee it either. It's one of those things. Yes, yeah, so that's the hub room back there, and you basically just gotta do three little trials, I guess you could say, in order to get what you need in that room. It's really cool though how they set this up. <laughs> Man, that was really loud. I don't know. It was a really loud battle. Ooh, this room's always fun. This reminded me of, of like a chessboard or something. I don't know why. There's this whole platform up here. There's like no. Well, there is a purpose for it being this wide, but it's just so cool that it is, anyways. And it's all off center, too. Let's see. Secret of the Goddess's Guidepost. Press R to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Okay. Come on! Come on, come on, come on. And yeah, you gotta guide this statue. And this is the whole gimmick of this place. You gotta get three statues into that room in order to... Well, pretty much complete the temple at that point. But there's a little bit more still. Right, yeah. And you can pick up these statues, but the way you're supposed to do this... Because if, if you try to pick this up, pick up this guy and carry him through here... Obviously, he'll get hit on the platform there. And he'll just like fall off and die, basically. And that's how you do that. I actually got that one really fast as a kid, which is kind of amazing to me. Just knowing my skill as a kid. <laughs> I was like the shittiest gamer ever as a kid. I mean, I'm, you can probably already ascertain that from what I've said so far about how like I spent like two weeks on this dungeon. It's like crazy. Oh yeah, he just hops off on his own this time. Like, why can't you do this before, you jackass? <laughs> just get through without my help. You don't need me. I guess I'm just the one to awaken you. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, after you get the first one, this happens. Now, I, I'm pretty sure this didn't actually happen. I was just being, like, really stupid or something. But I swear, as a kid, that, like, I got this to appear, and then, for some reason, I didn't go up and check it. I just left and did something else. Like, I think I actually left the dungeon entirely. And when I came back, this wasn't here. And, like, I couldn't proceed anymore. It was really stupid. And I'm, pr I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure that can't actually happen because I can't imagine they would make you do that. Because this is your new song they have to learn to complete the game. So they wouldn't just make that disappear if you like took too long to get here or something. But I'm pr it's just a very like distinct memory in my mind that that happened. I don't know, talking over the song, so that's kind of bad. The song goes really well with this temple too. Just something about it is so like godly, I guess. The command melody, hell yeah. Not too much use in the game, but when you do get to use it, it's hell. It's it's hellsome. No, it's awesome. Uh, my kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to the place of truth and open the path to the gods. And yeah, it disappears forever now. See, that's when it disappears, not when you just take too long to do it. I know it was so weird though. I'm pretty sure I had to like reset or something to just keep going. I don't know. It was a very strange series of events. 
Or, oh yeah, these bubbles, I don't really want to mess with them right now. I can't really do much with them either. So I'm just going to try and get across here. Uh, God, it always, like, frustrated me how these grappling things are set up like this, because, like, it doesn't seem right that you can just swing straight across like that when the grappling beat, when the, the uh, logs that you swing from are an angle like that. Like, see, this one makes sense, at least, but... The other ones, they're just all crooked and misshapen at, like, 45 degrees from each other. Alright, so this room is kind of, uh, kind of barren, but actually. But I guess that's the idea, is that you don't really have to do much to get through this room anyways. But what you do have to do is you can see that when you pre when you step on this switch, it'll trigger that bridge. But when you step off the switch, that'll go away, so you need to leave something on that switch. But you can't leave this guy on the switch because he'll follow you. And you can't, like, get him. You can't, like, swing across while carrying him because that would just be. That would look really funny. But you can't do that. So, what you have to do is step on this. And, well, stay on it. And then you play your new song. Because what else do you do with a new song, right? It means you can really play it the first thing you do once you get it. But you don't want to do anything there. But here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love it glowing green, man. It's a lime green. And you slowly hop across. Can you, like, do anything? Can you, like, attack as this guy? I've never really tested, like, any other buttons. It doesn't look like that. Just don't test R. There we go. And then to get us back across, like, I thought it was so stupid as a kid. Cause, or I, I was so stupid as a kid, because, like, I stepped off and I'm like, well, how do I get back across now? And it took me a little bit, but I managed to figure, yeah, duh. Same way you got a cross, dummy. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Did you see his little head turn for like a nanosecond to just look at me? That's funny. Mm, I think this guy actually will stay here. Yeah, he does. Okay, so when I said that they follow you before, that was kind of... Oh, what? What's happening, man? Hey! Argon is I, the king of red lions. Really? I thought it was my grandma. Uh, I am afraid that there are some areas to which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. But do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they will wait patiently for your return. Of this, I assure you. Why, have you done this before? <laughs> Man, he seems to know much more than he's letting on. Okay, oop, dude. Hey, thank you. Oh my god, whoa, no. Don't do that. Dude. <laughs> this is totally violent. At the most. Oh, well, that's great. Come on, the place is flooded. Shouldn't there be water there be below me to catch me? Yeah, you know, you don't have to redo that whole room for this guy again. He just stays there, thankfully. <laughs> God, that was so stupid. Oh, that other guy's already dead anyways. He doesn't respawn or anything. Alrighty. Now you just gotta swing across like this, and this is gonna be awesome. Uh, can I make that? No. Uh-oh. I hear the guy coming. I probably could have gotten across that time. But there we go. We're safe now. Bang. 